Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next, what is this live base build video? I guess I kind of spaced out for a second. But yeah, here with the next live base build video. This is going to be a Town Hall 10 one. Um, I'll try to do a Town Hall 9 uh, in the future because I know that's pretty popular. And some of you guys want 9.5s and stuff. So as always, you can let me know what you want in the comments and I'll be sure to scroll through that, see what most people want. But today, this is a Town Hall 10. I haven't done this in a little while. And I think, you know, a few things have changed. We have different troops becoming powerful all the time at Town Hall 10. Although miners and bowlers seem to be the most popular stuff, especially miners right now at this point in the game. So that being said, we're going to be building a Town Hall 10 base. I do have an idea of what I think I'm going to be doing, kind of with the general structure, because I built a base a few days ago that I thought was pretty solid, a little bit unorthodox, but... Um, I never have anything anything planned out. This is just kind of, you know, off the top of my head. All I have is a general idea of what it might look like. So let's get started. I do have a friendly challenge follow-up video I'll probably do. Although, unlike the last video, I'm not going to use your guys' attacks. I'm just going to do it in Genesis just to save time. And I think we have more Town Hall 10s in Genesis uh, that can, you know, have an army ready when I need it. So... Let's get the CC kind of in the middle, or a little off to the side right there. What I want to do is I want to have a split core. So I'm going to kind of split it down the middle. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this, it will complement the Inferno Towers. And this will all make more sense once, once it's built. But um, until then, let's just get this filled out. You can see I have kind of a little split down the middle right like that. Uh, actually, we can just make it a little bit smaller. Uh, then expand out that way. I'm basically going to have some wizard towers, the clan castle, that's pretty much it. So not a whole lot going on in the core. We'll put a storage right here as well. Um, maybe right like that. Then one more wizard tower up top. Move that over one. And uh, actually we'll keep that there. Alright, so yeah, that looks good. We can actually move this down one right there. Um, and I'll put the Infernos down in just a moment and you guys might get an idea of what I'm shooting for. So that's going to kind of be the, a split core in that there's two different parts to the core. Uh, we'll finish that off right there. I guess we could put a wizard tower right here. Might as well just make the core a little bit bigger, but all good. Uh, let's fill that in right like that. Okay, so the core looks pretty solid. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use these kind of indents by the uh, each side of the two kind of core type compartments <clears throat> I'm gonna put the um, each one on one side so I'm gonna put this right here like that I'm gonna put it like this this is gonna be a compact base and I think that this is gonna be a little bit better to defend against miners now bowlers do always uh, you know pose a threat when you have your infernos up against a wall or something like that but I think it's worth it in this situation to should we move that one tile farther? Yeah, we'll move it one tile farther. Um, I think it's important to defend against the most popular troop, which in this case is miners. So let's go ahead and uh, finish off this inferno compartment right here, uh, right there. And yeah, actually we'll move the wall one farther. Boom. Okay, that looks good. Just want to make sure no bowlers can target it from anywhere but the core. And because it's a split core, I did this because I want basically um, bowlers. I don't want them to go bowlers to come down the like the alley from north to south or south to north and be able to get both infernos. Because of that, I split up the core into two compartments, so they'll have to like straddle the compartments with a jump if they want to be able to access both infernos. But either way, they're still pretty spread out. So even though they're even though they're touching the wall, I don't think it should be too much of an issue. Um, okay, let's get some expos down. I think I want to do a hero on either side, so I'll put the queen there, king here. Um, might move those, but we'll see how that shapes up. As far as the air defenses. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do a whole lot to defend against air. So the least I can do, I guess, is to put the air defenses in pretty solid locations, kind of on either side of the Inferno Tower. Um, but besides that, I'm not going to do a whole lot. Let's um, let's have two Expos by the Queen to help defend her a little more. And then we'll put one kind of up top here. Uh, we can actually move the King out, maybe, and keep that Expo a little more central. Yeah, because that will even extend beyond the base. So that's good. Um, and then at the bottom here, we'll have a compartment like that. Going to kind of shoot for smaller compartments um, around the core. 
and they can get bigger and kind of skinnier as we move outwards. Then we'll have an apartment right, oops, right there. Probably put an air sweeper right next to that, um, to that expo to kind of push anything back in terms of air. And uh, the same thing up here. We'll put the other air sweeper in here. Um, actually, we can do, how should we do this? We'll put this by the Inferno, right like that. And then we'll close off a compartment, just a small one right there. And that compartment right here. Oh, these walls, though. I mean, I, okay, I'm not going to complain because base building's in a pretty good state right now with all the new features, but still, sometimes the walls just annoy me. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now all we have is just to fill out some outer compartments with the walls, and then we'll go from there. So I want to have all this protected, so let's see if we can fit a... Actually, one further out. Come on, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can fit kind of a few compartments like this to surround that area. Um, have that go down there. Uh, start this one like right here. Have it go out and over. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to make this one further out so we can actually fit buildings in it. Okay. Um, that's fine. We can make it bigger if we have extra walls, but right now I want to get just, just the kind of bare minimum of what I want in terms of walls. So like that and uh, that should be okay not sure how many walls we're gonna have left over when everything's said and done uh, we can go like that and 18 come on all right we got it I do want to, I wanted to have a few more walls up north here to protect that expo a little better I wonder if we can borrow walls from anywhere um, just taking a look at it right now. We can take one probably from here. We don't need all those walls. We have two walls now. That should be fine. We'll just go like that, extend this two farther, and there we go. Okay, so looks pretty good. The expo is not completely guarded, but you know what? We can throw like a town hall or something up there to make that kind of a hard area to enter. Although I might want to use the town hall to defend the queen's area. Um, not that there's really anywhere to fit it, but maybe just kind of right here because the queen is kind of exposed. So yeah, let's put the town hall there. That might be a little better. Then we have both the expos as well. As far as where the airstreepers point, um, we'll put one... Maybe we should put both air sweepers up top because I think that's where they'll come from air because they'll probably go for the queen and two air defenses at the bottom if they take that route. So let's, um, geez, did I just move a wall by accident? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, see, every time I try to scroll over, it moves a wall on me and then it starts getting weird. Yeah, I'm still, especially on my phone screen, it's just kind of a smaller device. Uh, but let's put that air sweeper there and that one can face... Um, out in that direction, that's better. Okay, so the two air sweepers are defending against air from that side. Everything looks pretty good. We can throw a archer tower. Let's just do a cannon right here. Um, let's keep these archer towers spread out just to kind of help grab some minions or baby dragons or stuff they use for the funnel in terms of air troops. Um, we'll just kind of keep them spread out. Doesn't matter a whole lot just because there's there's nowhere to hide them. There's not like there's any places that aren't that close to the outside. Although we could sneak one right there, I guess, which is kind of more protected. Uh, we have three left, so let's put one by this inferno. Actually, we'll probably have some hit point tr uh, some hit point buildings there. Uh, one kind of in here, and these walls. Ah. Is it going to, it's frozen on me. Um, let's do view walls. Um, scout view. I'm typing active layout. Okay. Great. And now I'm moving like multiple walls at once or something. What even happened? 
This is kind. Of, this is really sketchy. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna stop recording or what. Come on. Uh. Wait. What happened? Seems like I'm missing a bunch of walls now or something. Hey, what's that? Where'd that come from? All right, I'm confused, guys. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of keep going in the video. So now I have an extra wall. Let's see where that was. Um, a few walls. Um, okay. All right, guys, we're good, I guess. Um, turn that off. All right, there we go. That was kind of scary. Sorry to waste your time, I guess, on that. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get everything down before this gets too long, and then I'll have a follow-up friendly challenge video to this probably, uh, you know, within a few... I like to keep it the same day. So probably the same day this comes out, there will shortly thereafter be a friendly challenge video um, on this coming out, so... Let's put that there. Just keep these cannons moving. Um, one here. We still have an archer tower. That one never went down, I guess. And we'll put one over here. Oops. Uh, we still have a few wizard towers. No, all the wizard towers are down. We can just put some mortars in here. Um, I don't know if I want any outside the base. I might put two by the infernos just to make it harder if they're trying to come at that with a golem or something. It's a little bit harder to uh, to target. And the last mortar can go, I don't know, right here. Okay, so that all looks... My phone screen... I don't know if it's the phone screen or Clash of Clans, but something is really starting to annoy me. Okay, let's just get this finished. Get this video done. All right, uh, put some hit points around this area. Hit points typically are better in the base in terms of high HP buildings. That's your storages, I guess is what I'm saying. Those are typically better in the base than the on the outside. Just because on the outside, they're a little bit easier to avoid if they come from certain areas. So um, we'll fill all that stuff in. Things are looking great. Let's actually move that out so it's a little more easily targeted. That way the defenses aren't the first thing to target, hopefully. But yeah, this pretty much looks like what's going to be it. Um, at this point, just have some Teslas and giant bombs to throw in. I usually do my Teslas last, and I like putting them um, kind of in the core-ish area. I've been back and forth on this. Let's put the giant bombs down first to make sure there's enough room for them because I want to load the, the core with giant bombs for miners and stuff. So I uh, actually can't even fit one there. Oh, man. Not the walls again. There's a wall on, side my, queen, on my queen pad. Yeah, it was like sitting on top of the queen altar. That was kind of weird. Uh, let's put the these giant bombs down. We can put two there and uh, two there. Right like that. So not the perfect double set, but it doesn't have to be you know that close together. Um, the, the, the main thing is that they're by high HP buildings. They're by the infernos. It's going to be difficult for miners. Uh, we have some spring traps, but let's do the um, the uh, Teslas first. Let's just kind of keep them in this area. I don't like them being too far to the outside because it seems like they go down pretty quickly. Uh, with funneling, I've kind of gone back and forth on my Tesla locations, but for right now, I like them better, kind of in the midsection of the base. Um, we'll put one by the... That would be kind of a risk, but I guess, you know, let's do one Inferno. Let's, like, just trap it up. Let's put a lot of Teslas by it. Have a big Tesla farm Inferno, just to throw someone off, especially because my base is a little bit lower level. Um, this might help kind of screw them up a little bit. And, yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, at this point, we just have some spring traps. That's the main thing, and a few air traps and stuff. So uh, let's put a spring there. Just kind of good places between buildings. There's kind of a cluster there, so I might get some troops there. Um, definitely probably like right here. Whether it's Valks or Bowlers or whatever. Um, maybe Miners. Miners are good for spring traps because you can get quite a few. I will put one there. I want to keep them relatively spread out just because we don't know what angle they'll actually come from. Uh, so we can, let's actually just do this. Let's move that that wall. And actually now we have an extra wall. So why not move this farther out? Protect that expo a little better. Move that one more. Put that there. Yeah, why not? Might as well. I think the inferno is fine. Now we can have a spring trap there too. Our last spring trap is going to go, we'll put it right here. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Although I <laughs> a few more traps actually. Uh, okay, let's put these skeletons in the core. They're good. They're good against miners. They the miners take forever to kill your skeletons, so I like putting them in the core. Uh, let's put the seeking arrow mines towards the outside, um, but close enough to the air defense that um, it would hit a lava hound. I want it to be able to basically hit a lava hound or a baby dragon because that's so awesome if it hits a baby dragon uh, it really screws up an attack so we'll put one more right here and the goal is that they'll send an, an, a lava hound towards it um, anyway and based on the, how that I put them in the trash buildings I might throw one more um, the, the fifth seeking air mine down in that location where there's a bunch of trash buildings and there's not a whole lot of air coverage because that's where they're most likely to use the baby dragon so i won't show that because i'm not going to put the trash buildings down that would take too long let's get the last uh few of these air traps just kind of putting them around you know maybe looking for places there's not as much air coverage the air defenses can't reach stuff or just kind of between air defenses uh different locations like that uh we can throw something there actually let's just put two there and call it good in case they come from that angle all right so everything's great let's just um as far as these guys go the smaller bombs my only issue with them is that they don't kill a wall breaker if the wall breaker is maxed out in terms of health i'm pretty sure yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure that's true so instead of trying to put them on the outside we'll just load them up in the core add some extra damage uh because they are they do do a solid amount of damage uh, it's definitely if you hit one of them, it's like half of a of a cannon or an archer tower. I think that's about right. So that's you know a solid shot on any troop, and it does splash damage, of course. So might as well load those in the core. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That I cover everything. I'll put that in the last seeking air mine, depending on the trash buildings. And yeah, uh, that's all I have to do. So hope you guys like this base build. Some people, uh, I think there was one comment of one of my videos saying that with like school and everything, I'll be busy. I should do speed builds. But actually, a speed build, I still have to build the base. So really, it doesn't take any more time to talk through it. And I think that this is kind of a unique series. There, a lot of people like seeing uh, if this is your town hall level. So I'll do town hall nines probably in the future. Let me know what town hall level you want to see. And be sure to watch my next video where I let some of the Genesis guys have a shot at it. That should be pretty interesting. So be looking for that on the channel in possibly the next few hours. If not the next day. I don't know when it will come out. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectatron out.